Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. Today we will take a look at payments. Directly from our Tabex dashboard, we already get a lot of information like the today's sales, the monthly sales, and also the average payment price for this month. And we also have the recent payments. We can go into those individual payments from here, but we can also go to payments on the left and then payments again. And this will bring us to the payments page that we will look at in this video. So on our payments page, we first get the transaction ID. We then have the username of the customer. We then have the amount of the package, when the package was purchased or claimed, the status. So in this case, these are all completed. And then if we want to, we can click on view to get more information about this specific payment. As you can see, there are multiple pages. So if you're having a hard time finding the exact payment, we also have a filter option. There are many different filter options to choose from, making it easy to find the exact payment that you're looking for. Let's choose in-game name for now, and let's search for Tabax Academy. Let's take a look and search. And as you can see, here you can find those different purchases that I've made on my own account. Let's say you still have multiple pages of results. You are able to add another filter. Let's say, for example, a email address or even a after date and also a before date. You can also choose if all of these needs to be true or just one of these needs to be true, making it as easy as possible to again find the exact payment that you're looking for. We can remove the filters from here by pressing the X. We can also click clear filters and this will bring it back to the normal state. In the top right, we can also click on export and this will export all the payments using the filters on the previous page. This is important. If I go back, if I would click export now, it would export everything according to these filters. There are no filters, so everything will be exported. If you only want to export specific payments, do the filtering on this page first and then click on export. I'm not actually going to request a export now, but once the export is done, you can find this under the exports page, and then you can download that export. If you are doing a really big export, this might take several minutes before this file shows up. If several minutes have passed and there's no file showing up, the export might be failing because it's too big. If you are having issues doing a massive export, let's say for the whole year, try doing a smaller time frame. That way, a massive export should still go through. You can then manually add them back together. Don't worry though, you are able to do massive exports. If you are having issues though, try making them smaller. In the top right, we can also create a payment. Here we can then fill in the username. Optionally, you can also add the customer's email address. For example, if you are later searching for the payment by the email address, it will then also pop up. You can also fill in the price for the packages that you are creating a payment for. When creating a manual payment, we highly recommend adding a note so you or your team later on exactly knows why this was created. And then you can select from your categories and select the packages that you want to create the payment for. Once this is generated, you can also choose the quantity for each package and then create that manual payment. Once we found the payment that we are looking for, we can click on view to get more information from that specific payment. We first of all see the full price of the payment and also the username of the customer. And under that, we have the date and also the time of the payment. For information from the customer itself, things like what did the customer pay? What is their email address? What is their username? What kind of payment this was, etc. Under this, we also have the customer's payment history. Again, you can scroll through this and also go to those individual payments in case you need to see exactly what the customer got. Top right, we can see exactly what packages were inside of this payment. If you want to, you can click on details and this will give you a little bit more information about that package. And from here, you can also directly go to the package if you want to get more information. You can see if the customer used any coupons or gift cards and also if there were any discounts applied. And again, if you are working with a team or if you want to leave notes for yourself, it is again possible to create a note on this specific payment. When scrolling down, we can see the commands and this will give us the status of everything that is going on with this payment. Since this is a test payment, there was no actual command delivered, so the state is still due. Once this command is triggered, it will then go to the processed commands, and this way you can see exactly what the customer did or didn't get. You're also able to resend or delete commands from this page. 
If something went wrong or you want to reissue a command, you can simply resend those from here. Then lastly, at the top right, we can also make a refund. When clicking on refund, it will ask us if we are sure. And then from here, we can actually issue a refund. If you're looking for more information how the payments go through the Tabex system, I will link to this page in the description showing you the process of how our payments work. I hope this was helpful. If anything is still unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.